we're now going to chat about the Johnny Depp Amber Heard trial. The testimony is done. Closing arguments are tomorrow. All this week, multiple witnesses took the stand. One of the biggest names on that list was Johnny's ex-girlfriend, Kate Moss. The model joined via Zoom. And to help us make sense of all of this and the testimony, please welcome our favorite body fa our, our, our favorite body language expert who spent 18 years as an investigator with federal law enforcement. She is also CEO of the Body Language Institute. Janine, welcome back. Hey, Janine. Hi, thanks for having me, guys. Well, it's always a pleasure to see you. So let's talk about Kate Moss because she testified because Amber had previously mentioned some alleged abuse by Johnny to Kate. But yesterday, Kate told her side of the story. So let's take a listen. Johnny left the room before I did, and there had been a rainstorm. And as I left the room, I slid down the stairs and I hurt my back. He never pushed me, kicked me or threw me down any stairs. He pushed her. So what did you think of Kate's testimony? And I especially want to hear about that little, like, like almost like a giggle thing, because I thought that might mean something to you. Well, when people are uncomfortable, they can do that. And we know Kate Moss doesn't like attention. She doesn't do a lot of media interviews. It's not her thing. Um, Johnny uh, left. I had slid. I slid down the stairs, had been. She use tense here. When we hear past tense, it makes sense for any type of trauma, even if you're just falling down the stairs, to be using words from the past tense. We also heard this with Johnny talking in past tense about the trauma he's experienced. When Amber hits the stand, though, what did she use? Current tense. True past tense because it happened in the past and so that's what we hear here mm -hmm. and she uses an illustrator a second later she's like and johnny came running up the stairs her gestures match what she says she's very stoic and this is part of her baseline she comes across as classy and believable and to me in my expert opinion i think she's telling the truth mm -hmm. all right so janine johnny returned to the stand as well and we want to get your opinion on one of amber's reactions to him her team read text messages from johnny and amber got you know visibly emotional can you unpack her reaction right here for us? I'll show him things he's never All right, so authentic sadness, the inner eyebrows pulled together and up. We saw a little tear happening yesterday as well, and she was hearing this negative stuff that was about, you know, that Johnny was supposedly saying about her. And when we fake sadness, which is what we saw, or my expert opinion we saw on the stand when Amber was on the stand a week or two ago, was when we fake sadness, <laughs> This is really sulking. When our brows come down and the corner of our mouth come down, that's sulking. No one sulks alone in a room when they're sad. No, we're sad. Our kids sulk when we don't give them what we want. And so when we sulk, what we saw previously with Amber, it's I'm fighting for attention here. So I have a motto I say, when brows are together and up, sadness is in our cup. But when brows and our mouth are down, sulking is in town wow. and so here we see some authentic sadness in uh, in the courtroom with amber finally anything that rhymes has got to be true <laughs> <laughs> so janine today amber returned to the stand and let me tell you got quite passionate when confronted by his attorney about if she expected kate moss to defend him listen I did not expect her to show up or not expect her to show up. It didn't matter. It doesn't change what I believed at the time when we were on the stairs and I thought he was going to kill my sister by pushing her down the stairs. All right, Janine, what does that her sounded demeanor? like a drunken brunch? Like when you stop the whole table, like, I don't care. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Janine, what does her demeanor tell us? Al is not the body um, language expert. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's very, you know, I'm going to make up a word here. It's very attitude-y. And mm -hmm. so you, I think you hit the nail on the head that this is coming across as very attitude. And when she's crying today on the stand, what we're seeing is scorn. So scorn is a combination of anger and disgust. The disgust is the nose wrinkling, the teeth gritting like this. We saw this with Kato Kalin when he was on the stand being interviewed by Marshall clark don't you have a book deal or a tv deal and he's like Arr. and so we see that she's telling us she's devastated and sad but we're seeing scorn scorn is that combination between anger and disgust and it's often one of the high lever levels of anger is this retribution i will pay you pay you back for whatever it is he didn't do that she wanted this is endlessly fascinating to me because, you know, both Amber and Johnny have pleaded their innocence, but they've said it differently. Like Johnny has said he's telling the truth,
but Amber hasn't used those words. Is that telling? Like, who do you believe with that? When people are telling the truth, we say, I'm telling the truth. Why should I believe you? Because I'm telling you the truth. Liars it's a, have a tough time telling us they're telling us the truth. And what liars will often say is, this is untrue, or I am innocent. Well, we're all innocent until proven guilty, at least here in the United States, right? So we're all innocent. So you'll often hear murderers, rapists, uh, abusers, anyone who is lying, especially under oath, say, I I am innocent. You're right. You are innocent because this isn't a criminal trial. You haven't been found guilty by a court of law. So that is a weak denial, a weak excuse. We had Johnny on the stand yesterday. We heard him tell us two times, no matter what happens, I was able to tell the truth. I was able to get out here and share the truth about what happened. You know, I want to go briefly back to sadness. When we, you, In your last segment, when we're talking about school shootings, Look at the tears rolling back. We are programmed to suppress sadness. So you have to say, I'm sorry. I'm sorry and gather your thoughts, right? And gather your, your emotion. We feel authentic sadness. I felt it with you guys with that rolling sadness. Right. And you feel it with me now. I'm a mother of three sons. Yeah. These shootings are, are, are horrifying. In Amber's fake sadness, just it fell flat. But now we saw that real sadness in the courtroom yesterday. Interesting. With this little little tear drop. Janine, you're unbelievable. Thank you so totally, much for your totally. expert analysis. For everyone at home, you can learn more about what's going on in this trial and what body language really means by checking out Janine's TikTok at Body Language Institute. Thanks again, Janine. We'll be right back. Thank Bye, you. Guys. Thank you. Bye.